chapter 2, verse 31 through 45. The fourth and fifth kingdoms are re identified because the statue here composed is for different metals. They represent the succession of empires that were to rule over Israel before the establishment of the fifth kingdom, the kingdom of God. Babylon is the head of gold, Medo-Persia, the chest and the arms of silver, Greece, the belly and thighs of bronze, and Rome, the fourth kingdom, is the legs of iron. These four secular empires ruled over Israel before it grew to become a Christian nation. During the thousand years between the Jewish war with Rome in AD 66 and the Crusades beginning in AD 1095, the fifth kingdom that supplants the fourth kingdom, Rome is a spiritual kingdom, the kingdom of God, the Christian church regarding the arrival of this spiritual kingdom, Jesus says, kingdom of God is not coming with signs to be observed, nor will they say, look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of heaven is in your midst. In other words, the kingdom of God, the rock that grew into a mountain, is the body of Christ representing Jesus and his people, the church. This is why, while in the presence of his disciples, Jesus says that the kingdom of heaven is in your midst. The spiritual and therefore unobservable nature of the kingdom of God may also be implied. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, but does it? The shattering of the statue represent the fall of Rome. According to Daniel 2 and 44, all four parts of the statue signifying this succession of empires were all shattered simultaneously, implying that they were all conquered at the same time. If one assumes that the shattering of the statue symbolizes the literal fall of the fourth kingdom, then one is compelled to concede that all the other kingdoms also fell at this time. Daniel chapter 2 verse 44. However, this is not what happened historically. Babylon fell in 539 BC. Metal Persia fell in the 5th century BC. The Greek Empire began its decline and eventual fall of the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC. And Rome fell in AD 46. Thus, the complete shattering of the statue symbolizes four different empires in Daniel chapter 244. Cannot signify the literal earthly fall of any of these empires. Instead, the shattering of the statue represents the conquest of the territory once occupied by these empires, not their fall. This conquest is by conversion in the case of Daniel 2.44. This point is echoed in Daniel 2 and 4. Daniel, there will be fourth king, the strongest iron, for iron breaks and smashes everything, and iron breaks things to pieces, so it will crush and break all others. Neither Rome nor Greece caused the Babylonian Empire to fall. Thus, regardless of whether one interprets Greece or Rome as the fourth kingdom, the shadow of the statue of Daniel 2 cannot surprise the fall of any empire in any earthly military to straight out of the primordial waters. And I'm about to dump it all on you. Joel 2 28. And in that day, I shall pour my spirit upon all manner of man. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy and see visions and so forth and so on. Peace of the gods. I got this straight, straight from the source. Tap in.
This is chemistry reason last week. I was going to say cold this time. And what? What she is about to give you is her story. There are seven Marys in the Gospels. Mary, Mother of Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Mary of Bethany, Sister of Martha and Lazarus, Mary, Mother of James, the younger of Hosea and Solomon, in Mark 15, 47, 16, 1, and Mary, Mother of John, Mark, Acts 12, 12, Mary, wife of Cleophas, Mary from Rome. That was greeted by Paul in Romans 16 to 6. This channel and video and all content is only for educational and entertainment purposes only. Peace to the guys. God rise. This is a war over your three sons. Ever since man had received his power from God herself, he has been out of order. Disaster, imbalance, and everything that you can think of. Now, let me give thanks to all and all, every ancestor. Thank you. Thank you, God, Ross, Ashe, Dan, Scorpion, Scorpio, Eagle, and Serpent. That is a fixed water sign. When Dan was born, his mother said, God hath judged men in Genesis 29 and 6. When his father blessed him, he said, Dan shall judge, shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path that bites. Genesis 49 and 17. Adder means serpent, a word from Latin, serpere, to creep. Snakes and scorpions are both creeping animals that sting or bite. And Scorpio is the only sign represented by three symbols. The serpent, scorpion, and eagle. In fact, in ancient times, the constellation of Scorpio was also called the eagle due to its proximity to Aquila, the eagle. Dan shall judge Really, it's tenant shall judge, for she is the original judge. Lady of the scales, Libera, the lady of justice. Tanet is none other than goddess Ma'at, the great judge in Amenta, the underworld. The name of Dan and his sister Dina are both from Kamet, Ten. Tanen, Tanet, Aten, Dan, or Don is apparently the biblical version of the earth god Tanen, consort of the earth goddess Tanen. To the Phoenicians, he was Daniel, or Daniel, god of divination, transformed into a Hebrew prophet. Daniel. His powers emanated from goddess Dana, Tanet, and her sacred serpents. Obviously, and I truly know, all things come from the womb of life. Rest in peace. Now, we will see the birth of a new nation. At any time, at any place, our snipers can drop you. Have a nice day. Place this card on your own turn before drawing any plots. You may remove all zap, paralysis, or attribute 
freeze cards that are affecting your power structure. However, preoccupied with your house cleaning, you may draw no plots this turn. the same word, name, and title. Represents the serpent and wisdom. The serpent is an ancient symbol for wisdom and is inseparable from the primal mother of all. Being wise, the serpent said Christ. One of her symbols was the Uraeus serpent on Camite crowns. The same serpent is diabolized in the Bible version of the Garden of Eden. In an earlier Canaanite version of this story, this serpent, God was called Lotan or Ladan, guardian of the holy fruit of the tree of life. The tree being a symbol of the generous primal mother, the hushed was the name of the brazen serpent made by Moses and worshipped by the Israelites, 2 Kings 18, 4. Leviathan, Leviathan, was the Hebrew title of the serpent. And can my symbolism, there are two types of serpents. One is evil, which is the serpent of drought, negation, and death. The other is good. The Uraeus serpent of life, worn on the frontlets of the gods and crowns of Kamet royalty. Other dons and dance in the Bible are fragments of the original African god Tan, as to be expected. America has been very generous in the time you were made to withstand the things that were coming at you, but there's a group of people years before. But so there came a time when we did not know where all this a lot of stuff went. But with your other hand as stewardship, we will be able to generate and have generosity enough for this nation and enough for other countries, and because we were called to be a blessing to all nations. So I decree and declare that generosity and stewardship because God has emplaced in you the stewardship of heaven to guide this nation. I decree and declare that over you right now. And you come on, let's make up for it. Good morning, Mr. President Trump. It's good to see you again. At 4.30, the Lord said to me, I am going to give your president a second win. Oh. Now, this has three meanings, three meanings. A win, and you will be the president again. And a win, that when an athlete is running a marathon, there's such a thing as a second win. Where you come to a point where you have Everything no energy. Existence I'm an athlete, comes so out I know. Of the you have no energy. I was, anyways. <laughs> um, I, you have no energy, and you feel like you have no strength. But all of a sudden, the the the, the lungs of this athlete has been trained in high altitudes. Yeah, and because of that, it's the athlete is able to get so much energy that it's amazing. Wins the and at least finishes and you know finishes the marathon. This is what the Lord's saying. He says He has made your 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 lungs, your body, your spirit, your strength. He has made it in such a way that you have been trained in such high pressured places in the last four years and even before that. Lord said he is ready for the next four years, and I'm giving him a second win. Do you understand that? And there's also this. A second wind, if you add D, is the Holy Spirit. And the Lord showed me today, he showed me today that you were coming to get a second wind of a second, uh, another infilling of the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit makes you able to finish Take this to the end, Mr. President. 
And then he said to me that you were the apple of his eye. And that's what we are, friends. We're the apple of his, of his eye. And that he's protecting you like he is protecting the ancient foundations of our nation. God wants to be in the middle of our nation. And then I believe this is it right here. I believe that this is what's happening. There might have been a little bit of a setback, but that was nothing. It was a setup for the comeback. Wow. A double win. I decree and declare that right now. In Come Jesus' on. name. Come on. Let's so we bless praise. you, Come on. Mr. President. We bless you. Lift up your hands and extend. Pasquale, why don't you pray for our president right now? Just pray. Yes. yes. Mr. President, just step right there. Come on, church, pray. Come on, church, pray. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mr. President. Second Corinthians 2.14 says, I give God thanks who always leads me in triumph, who diffuses the fragrance and knowledge of in every place. That word there, always, it didn't say if or but, but it said always leads you in triumph. I believe right now, as we start to pray right now, you're going to have that second wind like Pastor Denise just prophesied. But everyone that's connected to you is going to go into a new winning era. So I decree and declare right now. Come on, start to pray with me. Father, we just thank you for our president. Yes. And his wife, his entire family, and Vice President Pence and his entire family. Father, we bless them. We bless them. With the, even again, Isaiah 11, 2. May the Spirit of the Lord rest upon them. The Spirit of wisdom and of understanding and of counsel and might. And Lord, the fear of the Lord. Because He loves you. He said the other day, Jesus Christ is the most popular person yes. on the earth. Yes. So we decree that. Yes. In Jesus' name. And Mr. President, because you said that, <laughs> and you honor the Lord, you did honor the Lord. Yes. You honor the Lord there. And you said He's your boss. I believe that you came here today, yes, for a second win, but for a double portion. You came here for a double portion, and only God can double that up. Do you understand? We can't do that for you. God does that so that you can have, um, you can defeat 10,000 instead of 1,000, because when two come in agreement, so you're coming in agreement with the family of God. Yes, that's right. And so we're saying that now there's an army that we'll, we will we'll take this to the end. So. I will give you hidden treasures, riches, stored and in secret places, that's the so Donald that you Trump, may know that you're going to start seeing more and God more of Israel right now. Some as you I think they ought to do this because the Jacob public version and Israel. people see that, and um, I don't know what they see exactly, but by name it seems to have worked over my lifetime. But uh, it's probably different, I think, than the personal Donald Trump. I think Ben would say that. Ben said it very well today. So perhaps there are two Donald Trumps, but uh, well, I, I, you know, I'm somebody that is a thinker. I'm a big thinker. Why are there two Donald Trumps? Did you at some point make a conscious decision to behave differently in public? For I don't think there are two Donald Trumps. I think there's one Donald Trump, but certainly you have, uh, you know, look, all of this, and you have somebody else that sits and reads and thinks. And I'm a thinker, and I have been a thinker. And perhaps people don't think of me that way because you don't see me in that forum, but I am a thinker. I thought it was very nice what Ben said, actually, because uh, it is another side of me. Having fun. Absolutely. Feel it's, good. This path forward. This path forward. I, all, folks are up, apoplectic, upset, mad, angry. Be. Anytime you vote for the lesser of the two evils, you evil yourself. That's how Hitler came to power. Okay? We don't see that. 
but you got to be evil. Here's a guy who rapes a woman once a month, another guy who rapes a woman once a day, and you got to pick one to babysit for you. You're evil. And that's what America, that's how Hitler came to power. See, few people know Hitler you. You won that election by 288 votes. Have you ever seen a picture of his daddy? And almost wiped the world heard out. A story about his so you daddy. can get by and with that, that with the church. You? But you can't get by with that with the universe that made that the moon, the sun, and the stars. And that's where we are. So much of us you got people who are concerned in no terms of where do we go no from you here. You don't go nowhere. This is not your business. I wonder why he didn't give me none. See, if you're getting in this here and you're going to cuck you're going to move the people more powerful than me. I ain't going to talk to you if you don't know nothing. The fuck I'm going to talk to you about money if you ain't got nothing? See? That's what this shit is about. That's why NBC and ABC, that's why I look at them. Not that I believe them, they got a trillion dollar industry to do the research and I can pick it apart. It's simple. So, I, well, I know you, you don't expect there to be an election, but did you think Trump would get as far as he has? I didn't know who it was. Huh? Mm -hmm. Look, let me show you something. Let me show you the shit that I know. It's the Wall Street Journal. It's one of the most powerful papers in the world. I don't mean it's no good. What's the date? Now, hold it one minute. Hold it. Hold, 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 hold it. I ran for president 1968. The election was Tuesday, November the 4th. This story ran Friday, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Now, what's the date on that? What, what, what paper is that? Wall Street Journal, mm -hmm. November 7th, 1968. Page Headlines. Six. Election computer goofs gives Gregory 9 million votes. That's why you can't talk to me. I got too much information. Mm -hmm. I got 9 million votes in the state of Pennsylvania. Huh? Mm -hmm. The energy took over the computers and they had to shut them down because they rejected me as president elect. Of the United States. Yeah. And they couldn't change it. Because they couldn't change the numbers. Wow. Nine million votes in one state. I know what it was. They went in there and tricked the machine for Nixon, but somebody put it on wrong and they gave it to me. So I'm going in the election and know all this bullshit y'all read. It ain't true. They did it just like they did that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Just like they did that. Hmm? Yeah. Um... The one time Trump lost, he said it was rigged. Hmm? The, the few weeks First, ago there's lost. two Trumps. Okay. The one in the red tie is the real one. The one in the blue tie is not. The one you saw last night after the victory was the blue tie. Now, if you would punch up uh, Dr. Carson, Ben Carson, when Trump called him a pedophile, and the next day he joined Trump, and the guy asked him, see every now and then you slip and say something? He said, why'd you do that? He said, it's two trumps. <laughs> I was with the good one. <laughs> you see it, man. Just, just punch up. Uh, uh, when, when somebody interviewed him, he said, there's two Donald Trumps. That's, that's easy to pull up. I was Googling Ben Carson, pedophile. Hmm? I was Googling the wrong no, he called him that the day before. So you know he got something on him if he's going to make okay. him the next day say, I join you. Dr. Ben Carson, there are two Donald Trumps. There it is. Oh, you can read the rest of that later. Okay. Sex are from the same roots. And seven is the heart or center point of the six pointed star, the hexagram, an ancient sex symbol representing the joining of the male and female principles. The numbers 
4, 30, 7, 9, 20, 13, 4, and 7 are pun codes. God rocks. This is not Bible study, but this is definitely class. It's going to be a lot of esoteric knowledge, symbolism, allegory, which is hidden symbolism using fictional characters, lots of scripture, because within those scriptures are codes, for starters, second Corinthians 10 and 5, let's read, from the King James Version. Casting down imaginations is every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. These scriptures are literally for the believer, they are scratching. For those who know, they are just that. They are scriptures, signals, warnings, parables for the initiated. You better get knowledge yourself, because in that it doesn't teach you to get knowledge yourself. It tells you to lean on God for all understanding. That is the pent. Pentagram, pentacle, pentarchy. Pentagon, Pentacle, the Pentatoc, Pentatouche, the first five books of the Bible. These are the holy instructions. given to those that shall Catholicize the world using the chief cornerstone, Serapis, Jesus, the Christ. Let's go. Peace to the gods. God rising. Love is thicker than blood and water. Focus. Who or what is the Baphomet according to the internet articles, books? Simply put, the Baphomet supposedly came from the Knights nice Templar under torture. But we know officially that Baphomet dates back to records of the Templar trials when the Knights of the Temple were persecuted by the Roman Catholic Church during the church's bloody murderous terrorism called the Inquisition. Now, pentacle head Baphomet called the sigil of Baphomet is an upside down pentacle, two points up, three points down, with the image of a Bearded horn, goat head filling the interior. Two circles, clever pun for a zero or O. Close the pentacle between the circles at each of the pentacle points of the Hebrew letters. L, V, Y, T, N, which is Lamed, Va, Yah, Ta, and noon 
They spell Leviathan, Coil, Serpent, Athen. And Athen and Satan means snake, a word occurring five times in the Bible. Be reminded, the pentagram is not evil. The devil, peace, has confiscated the top emblems and icons of the great black mama and uses them to empower himself. The geometry of these symbols have great power attracting, producing ability or magic. Baphomet's other pentacle has Baphomet man naked with his penis at the center. Sitting Baphomet is a Frankenstein composite, a winged, bare-chested, cloven foot white man with the oversized head of a black long-horned goat with a large flaming torch protruding from the top. Ejaculating pen is symbol. He has a big erect pen is disguised as caduceus protruding with the vertical direction from his cloak. He sits cross-legged on a block atop a sphere. This is a disguised Masonic composite square. His right arm points up near a white crescent moon. His left arm points down near a dark crescent moon. Latin, salve, solution is written on his right arm. Wow, coagula, coagulation appears on his left arm. Used in the study of alchemy, the phrase solve et coagula translates to analysis and synthesis or to divide and to unite. This goat head deity has paps or pendulous females breasts, though he's a male, as we shall soon see. Baphomet, goat, other big tools underscoring his Duality, duality. Baphomet was said to be the Sabbath goat, goat of the Mendes, goat of the witches, Greek Pan. Following the apprehension of the five individuals involved in the break-in, both the press and the Department of Justice connected the funds found on those involved to the CRP, the fundraising organization of Richard Nixon's 1972 re-election campaign. Subsequent investigations, revelations during trials prompted the United States House of Representatives to grant the House Judiciary Committee expanded investigative authority. Additionally, the Senate established the United States Senate Watergate Committee, which conducted hearings. Witnesses testified that Nixon had sanctioned plans to cover up his administration's involvement in the murder and that there was a voice-activated tape system in the Oval Office. The Watergate scandal was a major political controversy in the United States during the presidency of Richard Nixon from 1972 to 1974, ultimately resulting in Nixon's resignation. It originated from attempts from the Nixon administration to conceal its involvement in the June 17, 1972 
break-in at the Democratic National Committee headquarters located in the Watergate office building in Washington, D.C., who subsequently resigned from office on August 9, 1974, becoming the only United States president to do so. His successor, Jerry Ford, pardoned him on September 8, 1974. The Watergate scandal resulted in 69 indictments and 48 convictions involving several high-ranking officials from the Nixon administration. This is the longest commandment on earth. America, the great whore, the harlot, Babylon, Egypt. Why did they try to assassinate the future president? an ex-president of these United States of America. Simply put, he rejected the chief cornerstone. He is a builder. Being that he sat at the table, unknowingly, Trump created a problem. He did not understand power. God rise. For centuries, the Godites, the elites, have been given in power and destroying nation after nation. God rise. Peace to the gods. This is chemistry realignment. You are now on Sankofa's time. That's right. We're going straight into what we got going on in 2024 with the Russian you made president and the very reason why you might perish. Trump. Set up. Is it an inside job? Is it an outside job? The people want to know. Is what we about to go right in and find out. Let's eat, people. Food for thought. Get a plate. Bring Tupperware. Be 47. In light of That's balance. In light of your political position, and if you, you want to sit at the God table you to and you to see yourself as God on a throne of God, say to yourself, You are God, and you want to be one in one, then we're going to have to become one. So you guys know how July 13th, 2024, this year, that was the day of the attempted assassination of Donald Trump, right? And everybody was alleging that it was fake, it was made up, he was doing this because this was the day that the Epstein files were released. Like, nobody came to the conclusion of what could have possibly been so special about July 13th. What if I told you that July 13th was a very important day and it had something to do with Donald Trump? I'm not talking about the one that just passed. I'm talking about 2018 when he was in office. On July 13th of 2018, 
there was an indictment released by the Department of Justice. What was that indictment? I'll show you. What a big coincidence for this to be exactly six years ago on the exact date that President Trump was almost assassinated. What's even more peculiar is what this indictment is. If you don't believe me, that clearly says 7 13 18, page 1 of 29, to the United States District Court and the United States of America versus these 12 Russian elected officials. What was this indictment? Oh, nothing. Just 12 elected Russian officials who are still not caught by the FBI today. And they're engaging in cyber operations that involve stage release or documents stolen through computer intrusions. And these units conducted large scale cyber operations to interfere with the 2016 U.S. president election. Guess who was in office? Those 12 officials who were never caught were indicted on charges that they were never charged for. What a coincidence that even the same company that was responsible for the investigation of that cyber attack was one of the companies that caused the massive outages today. What a coincidence that the same man is now running for president and it's happening that again, but hasn't happened in the past six If you uh, want to really see something to say, take a look well, I mean, it's all alleged yeah, information. Let me show you what I've been planning. <laughs> uh, Today I am officially declaring a national emergency. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Code Black. Officially declaring a national emergency. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Code Black. Two very big words. Fahai? Yeah, look it up. Used to express disgust or outrage. Oh, that's the worst F word there is. We come here today to honor this sign, which was purchased letter by letter from other failed towns. To be specific, COVID-19. I'm growing a conscience. I'm gonna change this prank. Much better. Call the newspaper. Tell them someone has solved it. Our iconic sign is a quiver. Hey, everyone remain calm. This is a part of the show. A part of the show. The IPs follow me. Much better. Now, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Star effect. Star sight. Joe Biden just stepped down this weekend. And he just endorsed Kamala Harris. Along with Joe. Along with uh, Obama, Clinton, and a few other people. Now, if Joe Biden just stepped down, that would make Kamala, though they have to elect her in, is the first black female president of the United States of America. Hmm. Where does this come from? This definitely come from the Holy Sephiroth, the Holy Spheres. All right, think about it. This this is a Christian nation. All right, in God we trust. That G-O-D is also in the Bible as so. So, they playing God, they own God. It's in the Bible, in the back of the dollar bill. All right, let's dig in, people. Deal with this big six, all right? Look, and we gotta deal with 
the etymology of Dina or Dina and Tan. You have to remember that Jacob's ch six children were boys. The seventh child was a woman, which was Dina or Dina or Dan or Tan, which is also Don or Dino and Donna, which also equates to then and tone. Okay, so let's go deep into it and we're gonna deal with black down through white wash, peace of the God. <clears throat> the derivatives of tan reflect her attributes. Tan is black like the earth, she personifies reflected in the words tan to darken and tone color. So as you can see, they set the tone, right? Or Don sets the tone, okay? Which is reflected in his name, which is, he is in the den. The pit, the caves, is also an ancient wound or symbol. Now that symbol is dealing with the mem, not the first mem, the four closed corners mem, but the mem with the opening at the bottom because the tip of the top represents ascension to heaven. And this is why he took the shots toward the top of his head because this particular situation came straight from the cough. Okay? Which is the crown. Now he has to bend because the first time he, he wouldn't bend. He was immovable. He didn't respect the church. He didn't respect the chief cornerstone that the Pope or that the universal church Catholicism used, right, to, to bring the world into universal contentment through enslavement or universal enslavement by contentment, which is satisfaction, which is just the woeing of what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the God or God or Gemil or TMC, which was the, the, the so-called sniper that, which is, you know, in the Ali bet, then when you break his name down in the Kabbalistic, uh, manner or the code you will find out what all of this means and that it's not uh, a coincidence it's just that he had to undergo uh, deep trial and tribulation and purification to um, be able to sit at this table and run the play that basically that they had been running because you were in the position but you got so egotistical and ego means etching God out and in this instance we're talking about the Elohim now the Elohim is is consisting of the seven gods now you have some some um, Muslims who probably still praying seven times to a the east or in the east and you have some that do five you have some that do three but there were originally seven to represent the seven emanations of Elohim or God or the seven uh, projections of the black womb man which is the arm leg arm leg and two breasts that is the seven projections of God where God set and set the sacred day apart, sanctified it, and in that day he rested. And that is the center of the universe because that is the new beginning of the life cycle to go into the eighth stage of that 40 of dealing with those cardinal or dealing with my eye or those four cardinal principles of balance. Now, when you see the, the, the Elohim come down and chastise Donald J. Trump, it was specifically because when they set him at the table and allowed him to sit at the table, 
he literally spit in their face so many times that they were they you know they didn't care it was just like you know you can shut the government down and all of this but you have to pay a price if you want to sit at this table again this is why we took it from you the first time and we showed you mercy on a kabbalistic tree right on a on a uh, kabbalah tree you can see that they showed him mercy as i'm going to show you now that mercy now it was a victory if you survived that hit. And he survived it. And, and by him surviving that, right, on that same tree, he has to show forth, you know, great gracefulness, gratefulness, and be thankful. So when he got right off the ground, he had to show, yo, I overcame. Okay? And by him overcoming, this just helped him get into that position even more because it was already granted to him he just made the wrong decision by not sticking to the agenda now tan is great reflected in dino is huge of dinosaur dynamite titanic dendara dina is madina or madonna the mother the great tan the great donna great lady great mother and great circle he disrespects that you understand so they chastised him they told him when they tried when when, when they literally scalded him at service they was blessing him they told him this is what we're doing god the lord the master is blessing you because they were representations of the king and queen of the sovereign monarchs you can't have one without the other that is just how this goes and if it's dealing with a, a, a just a total male aspect that male aspect has a binary code of two beings so you will have Zeus and Pan which is the light and the darkness you can't have one without the other that's why they were preaching to him like that and giving him the blessing and telling him listen fucked up this time but we gonna give you another shot and he fucked that over so he, he was so angry and this is why he got shot like this is why he got shot that was on purpose seven shots on purpose those numbers three right 13 13 4 7 Romans 13 4 and 7 Ephesians all right these scripture are specifically for those that are in the know now he's going to under he he's right now he's he's already underwent initiation the deep ascetics that he needs to um to run the to run the free world to run the world Right? And the reason I'm reading these names off to you so you can understand that this energy is not nothing to play with. You can see what's coming with certain things, literally. But they have to be played out in blueprint and you have to be tapped in. That's just how this go. Now, Don, Don, and dealing with dynasties. Tan is the queen. We're talking about the primordial waters of Titanic, right? We're talking about then, because then is great. 10 is great. I 10, I 10, the twa, the underworld, because this is dealing with him having to dance for God, like David had to. Now, Dancing with and show himself a living cycle and dancing to the devil's harp in his tune and every in his tone and how he does things. I mean, this is the master. Alright, this is God. This is the Pope we're talking about. This is the queen that we're talking about. This is not a small thing. And, and, and Donald Trump been out of line for a long time. And he he, he didn't want to play. And so they had to show him that there's nothing 
that you can do. We understand that, you know, the, the American gods, but you won't have no American gods without the old gods. That is how it goes when you watch the show. That is how it goes for the people in the future, right? There is no future without yesterday and today. The only thing that is real and tangible is yesterday and today. The future does not exist. But to secure such a future, you have to plant seeds. And see, that seed is within the seed. And if you destroy that, there is no furtherance. There is no revolution, right? And then things can't get, things can't evolve. And these principles and fractals of the earth are just numbers and fractals and dealing with melanin and currency. The number six, the number five, the number seven. The beast of the field runs the world. He once was upright with God, but now he has become God. And that's the point of, of, of Serapis and the, second, and the second coming of Serapis, which is Jesus Christ. Now, Donald Trump's problem is this very thing. He doesn't know what this, uh, you know, what these, what these ancient teachings is. And if he does, he blatantly disrespected it in front of the world. You cannot treat the Bible like that, and or, or, or any of the Abrahamic religions, uh, religious books. But the Bible is the key. It's a Masonic tapestry of history woven inside this book. It is no different than when you holding a dollar bill. Holding a dollar bill is the equivalent of holding the Holy Bible in your hand. This is what runs the world. They are one and the same. It's language. So, so Pete, let me go into this underworld thing because Trump was he was he was exalted. They had him in heaven. But he didn't honor his mother. He didn't honor his father. You understand? He was just literally just very disrespectful. Just not only in speech. All right? And we, you see that in the video when Eminem tried to tell you why war matters. And, and see, Donald Trump, he wasn't looking. And if he was looking for the signs, he would have seen that video. And then he would have seen Eminem wearing the, 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 the Circle 7 on standing in the center of the universe telling you I am Elohim and before that as soon as he as soon as the, the the video comes on right as soon as he starts his verse he throws the devil horns to let you know this is Kaf this is the 11 this is the supreme being talking to you right now signs and symbols are for the conscious minds it can be a smell Right, and that cough is 11, it's 20, it's, it's 10 10, it's top 10, it's the primordial waters. That's why he had the seven on, and you see the two wolves. And when you see the two wolves, you see the two wolves split and they turn into three. That is war matters, right? Because now you're caught up in the world wide web, you're inside the web of lies, and now truth is being revealed to you right before your very eyes. And the reason it's being revealed through your very eyes is to show you the, 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 the length and the reach of their power. Now Donald Trump probably sitting back and he probably like, how the fuck did that shit end up in not like us? It's because it's July. You're dealing with the Circle 7. We're in the center of the universe right now. And those are the guys that know we just chilling right now. Some of us eating right, some of us probably powering up on all kind of levels, but this is we in the, this is game time. It's, the, it's transformation. We at the mountaintop, and you are supposed to be the the the, the goal. This is why we seeing this is why we seeing the Roman uh, black Roman Denzel Washington and Gladiator too. This is why we seen the pop out. This is why you see Ophiuchus. This is why Donald Trump has to be the next president, but he, you know, this shit is set in stone already. Like I told you, this book, Descendants of Slavery, was written in the 1980s. I believe 1980. And I'm 42, so that's a long time. It was written before I was born. Now, 
dealing with this 13, which is the number of transformation, is the mountaintop. And he disrespected the primordial waters, which is men, which is the actual government itself. That's the big three that stepped in. Because remember, Eminem is still standing there. That's four. But that three, when you see the two wolves running, one of them has the, has the Y scepter in his mouth, letting Donald Trump know, I'm going to give you this mantle. It's yours. We took it from you. That's the whole point of Stop the Steal. But he should have let it go down. But since he kept opening his mouth, as you see Eminem reaching for his mouth on the floor, that's what that's about, right? Because you talk too much and we told you to do this. So, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, right? And then you don't have to be the evil. He didn't want to do neither or neither and he disregarded the three. But since he's a representation of what the four French is, Right, he's the one, he's the goat, he's Dan, he's Don, he's Dinah, he embodies the X, 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 Y. He is Tang and Twa. This is what this man represents as far as dealing with the African spiritual system, knowledge, and, and his total abundance. Those that know, they sit down like I'm doing with the information and they see what's going down. Now, that 13 that's on the top of the, and God we trust, and you see the 13 stars that represents transformation, which is the four, which represents the 40th, which is the only number that can convert unto, I believe, back unto one. And that's why we call it the cardinal. And that is dealing with the as above, so below, as within, so without, because that center seventh piece is a, is in the womb of life. It is life itself. It's the center piece that emanates out, which is the seven rays that touches everybody and everything and all things. The spiral of that energy going forth. That transformation. Now you went to the top, the mountain top, right? Now being at the mountain top, they had to take you and sacrifice you because you would not become a holy living sacrifice unto your master. And by not doing so, you could get put down for shit like that. Especially going against the grain of biting the hand to feed you. When the pastor said, in your left hand, I see generosity. And in the right hand, I see a stewardship of heaven. That's further letting you know. But he didn't want it. You didn't want it. So they totally like, was like, this is what we're going to do with you. In order for you to get this crown, if you survive, because this is the divine will of dealing with that 13, of dealing with that gimmel of God, or Yad of God. It's to follow what you see on the screen. Now this commandment is a fractal of the universe's law. It's the only commandment that is the longest and it also gives you the longest promise. Now when you become this fractal and you embody this, you can implement law and define it as you will and as you please. But in this case, that shit came for them through mass murder and a few other things. But as that mantle was passed down, like the curses don't get passed down to the children. It's up to the people or the individual to make the decision how they want to you know, give out or uh, reparate whatever their ancestors had done wrong to that family because you're supposed to be able to pay those things back and if you can't pay them back, you have to pay them back in living service with a sacrifice of your life. And he didn't do that. So, let's get back to the field. Right, because I know it's a lot. And the spirit of wisdom is more understood. 
but also within that, that prayer when they said that the apple, that they, they said that you are the apple of God's eye. God chose you, Israel. Talking to Donald J. Trump, like, once again, that whole scene is simply for him to, to get this understand. Yo, this is not, it's not going to be light if we scar you. This is God. That's why, you know, just, you know, when we go into the video, we're going to check the emails that they be giving out, all right? Heaven to guide this nation. I decree and declare that over you right now. And she, come on.